Oh, hi, Mark. Hello. Yeah, this totally isn't the second time we've done this today. I promise. <laughs> I'm, I'm a good boy. I didn't do anything bad like last time. I promise. Please. Yeah, come on, man. Patreon has a has a thing against that. <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers uh, drop by Patreon after doxing self. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm level four in Pokemon Go, and I literally just started ten minutes ago. Uh, the wonders of having friends who hoard gifts like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Visit Pokestops to do more field research. Visit Pokemon. Blah, blah. <laughs> oh my, just let me use. I just want to use egg already, and like have Pokemon appear, but not even. There's no Pokemon near my house. It wants yeah. me to. <laughs> I'm stuck in a perpetual <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> what the? Put the tutorial on hold until we're done. I refuse. I'm now <laughs> going to become the Pokemon Go master. It was nice end up being friends with you guys, but I'm never coming back. <laughs> ah, shit, me and my three curly uh, curlias have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> I have one shiny, one male, and one female. Apparently shiny's a, a gender now, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> the shiny uh, one's male, but I'm planning on making that one a God of War. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Anyways, sadly, Name today's best episode pack. isn't something about something fun like Pokemon Go. It's about <laughs> Shrek fan fiction. I mean, it has gotten better since Shrek showed up. But... Hey, uh, yeah, exactly. But it took eight chapters. <laughs> yeah. Who writes a Shrek fan fiction without Shrek in the first eight chapters? Not, not even Shrek fan fiction. Just general fan fiction. <laughs> uh, you write fan fiction without Shrek? Let's see. Fanfiction.net are, are Shrek, Shrek Pokemon. Oh, God. Pokemon and Shrek crossover. Oh, God. You're, you're going to find a spectacular a... day. La Huitame badge. This one's in Spanish or some other language. <laughs> and the Swamp Invader. Oh, oh God. God. Strange things are going on in Shrek Swamp. Oh, God. What is the danger in Shrek Swamp? Anyway, yeah. that, that just sounds nine. like. That, sorry, I'll shut up. <laughs> no, 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 just say what you were gonna say. Say I was what gonna you say, that, to say. That just sounds terrible in the best way possible. <laughs> you mean like that Cthulhu fan fiction we need to get to? Uh, yeah. Cthulhu. Oh boy. Yeah, the Cthulhu Yandere one. <sighs> I need that in my life. <laughs> we all do. All right, we need to speed run this. Now. We all uh, we all need a yandere with tentacles in our life. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, we're on chapter nine of Why Fear Me. I'm only an elf. <sighs> on the bright side, we're halfway through. Author's note: I'm sorry for not uploading this earlier. I had I had something to take care of before I could write. Thank you, Kitty Cat Girl PCA student and Ch Chip at Star. I almost said Chipotle. Chipotle star. Ah, uh, yes, this <laughs> yes, to the Chipotle dark. star. That's he hits you in the right name. pressure. He hits you in the right pressure points to make you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> for reviewing. Witness Here, the power of my stand, Chipotle star. Oh, I was making a fist to the North Star joke. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So something I learned. You've already shit yourself. What? <laughs> So, so, you know, the propane nightmare thing, you know, the audio. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently there's actually a song called propane nightmares. I can't remember who it's by, but it's an actual song. and It's actually pretty good. <laughs> God damn it. Here, have some cake and a cookie cookie. The next chapter is the fire scene <laughs> and revelation. <laughs> I do not own Shrek three or its characters. I only own Ava. Nothing. Uh, my area. I hope you own your area. <laughs> and any other OC that's in here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna read the first two lines, because the first one is just one word, so... Yes, mm -hmm. that's a perspective thing. Artie, I knew this was too good to be true. I'm just not ready to be king. Why can't Shrek see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God! I'm sorry, what? I, I'm... Oh. I'm Dying a little bit. <laughs> Shrek! Donkey yelled, sounding panicked. The green monster, I almost read that as mother. 
<laughs> and I looked up at the same time and saw that the ship was heading for some shark looking sharp looking rocks. It's been a day. <laughs> Shrek hastily put the wheel back inside of the hull and desperately tried to steer the ship. <laughs> right. They just broke off the, the fucking steering wheel for the ship. All right. Whatever the fuck that's called. What the, the, is steering wheel of ship called? A steering wheel. Is it? <laughs> ah, this be the steering wheel. Uh, called the helm. Hell, okay, that's what it was. Okay, for some reason I thought the helm was the thing on the front. Uh, that's the figurehead. That's the figurehead, which is attached to the stern. Yeah, mm -hmm. the helm is probably just the local area of the front. You could probably literally just call it a boat wheel or, or just, you know, a, steer, a ship's wheel. Mm. Oh, ship's wheel. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, is it my life? <laughs> no, it's Tom's. Oh, is it? Yes. I uh, read mine. You read the green monster and I... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Where's Ava? <laughs> Glanced around for her, and what I found made my heart stop for a beat or two. She was passed out by the foot of the stairs without a single thought of my own safety. I rushed down the stairs and grabbed Ava's lifeless form. Oh, she dead. Before the ship jerked violently and sent us into the water. You know, the open trance thing isn't working the way I could have swore it did. <laughs> oh, God. Somehow, Ava and I were separated. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Artie. Way to go, Mr. Pendragon. It's all Artie's fault. Blame and I were Artie. separated as we both tumbled into the cold, salty abyss. Oh, no. There's a joke I could make about one of my exes. But I'm done. Violently kicking my legs, I surfaced and looked around for that familiar blue dress. When I couldn't find any trace of it, I took a deep breath and drove on, dove under, desperately searching for my best friend. I had to surface twice before I found her. Quickly grabbing her arm, I kicked to the surface again and swam to shore. She didn't look good at all. Her skin had a deathly pallor to it, and her head lolled from side to side. I silently thanked the gods for land as my feet hit the sandy bottom. I picked Ava up and quickly splashed my way to the beach, where I set her down on the sand. She wasn't breathing. I panicked and started doing CPR on her. I pinched her nose and took a deep breath, quickly covering her mouth with mine and breathing the air into her lungs. I pumped her chest a few times and repeated the process again. This time, she coughed violently and rolled over to spit some salt water and bile out. Only then did I notice that we were wet and that every curve on her body showed. I felt my cheeks get warm and I looked down at the sand to prevent me from staring at her. <sighs> okay. I don't have time for these virgin shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm sorry for getting distracted real quick because I wanted to make a joke because I don't know what Shrek it was. I guess Shrek 2 or whatever where Shrek literally throws a bottle at a ship and he makes it like break and crash. Yeah. So for one, I'm worried about how strong Shrek is. Two, <laughs> while I looked up, tried to look up that scene, what ended up happening is that um, what's happening right now is another scene they stole right from the movie. Yes, yes, this is a scene they stole from the movie. Yeah. The breaking of the ship's wheel off of the thing. Yeah. yeah but what he didn't break the ship's wheel, he broke the thing holding the ship's wheel off too. Bro, oh, broke. That's right. Broke the entire thing off. Is like, oh shit! Sharp rocks plants the thing and starts trying to turn it again. Yeah, but I don't think it, you know it's talked about this time. So you know. All well, no, they mentioned that they tried to too. put the thing back. I see. Well, um, what, where's my line then? Is it what happened? Yes. What? What happened? Ava asked, struggling to sit up. I gently pushed her down again. All right, put, uh, hmm. And said, we basically crashed. Basically, bitch, you crashed. Homie, you crash, crash. You didn't basically crash, you crashed. She blinked, trying to comprehend my words. Okay. What the hell do you mean, we crashed? I mean, we crashed. <laughs> how, in, how in Marinara's bloody name do you crash a freaking boat? <laughs> Marinara. With, I, this... I am not going to bother with that name, all right? She yelled, struggling to sit up again before I pushed her back down. 
<laughs> Stop! Jesus Christ! She's not, she's not, like, hurt, hurt. You don't need to, like, keep her on the ground. Down! Stay down. It's like when a dog won't stop trying to hop in your lap, but it's a great Pyrenees, and you're like, no! <laughs> down! <laughs> Repeatedly shoving it. This isn't working. <laughs> Why is it stronger than me? <laughs> Doggy, no. Stop. Ah. This is just like... <laughs> God damn it. Also, there are ways to crash a boat. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, how do you crash a boat? Someone uh. decided not to be... Ki Someone decided not to be king and tried to turn the boat around, Shrek yelled from behind me. <laughs> now this is starting to sound like the kind of fan fiction I was looking for. <laughs> <Da -da -da. laughs> it's, all, it's all Luger now. Oh, I'm sorry, Ava. Were you saving this hole for yourself? It's oh my god! <laughs> she glared at him, then turned her gaze to me, her scalding look softening. Why don't this you is my to... swamp. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why don't you Tom is uncomfortable. King? Stop. <laughs> she asked God gently. Or Tom, which did you say? I said Tom. Okay. I was about to say this ain't D&D. Yeah, no. I see no gods here, only me. <laughs> only one very angry and sad troll, and two people he's just hanging out with for some reason. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting called out here. <laughs> one of space powers, one of time powers, and then just me in the back being windy. <laughs> Anyways, I finished my line. Did you? Yes. Oh, you coming or not? Okay. Uh, no, mine, we... was, mine was she asked gently. That was my line. Oh, right. she asked gently. Did you say that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not ready. I mumbled, <laughs> looking away from her questioning violet eyes. Well, you're coming or not, Shrek yelled from behind us. This is starting to sound like the right kind of fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> what are, you are you coming or not? <laughs> See, Shrek has already yeah, made this yeah. ten times better. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even trying to. Yeah, no, He's Shrek. Won this hole. You know, at first I was kind of curious as to why P uh, why the internet worshipped Shrek as a god. Now I'm starting to understand just because he's <laughs> making this bad fan fiction good just with his mere presence. And it's not even like it's not even competently written. <laughs> Shrek just makes everything better. That's why the entire Shrek's franchise besides three is good. <laughs> well yeah, three is where they tried to bring in Arthur Pendragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this fan fiction was so bad up till now, because we were focusing on Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is it my line? Yeah. I think it's top, right? Yeah, yeah, it's your line. I just read are you Yeah, are you, you read it. Are you well you it's coming your or line not? Thing. We looked Yeah, we looked. We looked up to see the ogre looking at us expectantly at the mouth of the trail of a trail. What? I heard a grunt and saw Ava struggling to get up. Ooh. Here, I murmured. I'm having flashbacks to Fifty Shades. <laughs> Sliding my arms under her legs and back, easily picking her. Fucking hell! I do wow. not have time for these virgin shenanigans. <laughs> wow, she must be tired. She didn't protest at all. She only <laughs> sighed, leaned her head against my chest, and wrapped her arms around my neck. I've never seen her this weak and vulnerable. <laughs> okay. Ew! Ew! Tom is uncomfortable again. Ew! <clears throat> my heart immediately started to speed up at her soft touch. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> my face when my um big Amazonian tough GF is really tired so she can't step on me today. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen her this vulnerable, and I know if I try anything, I'll wake up without a spine tomorrow. <laughs> I've never seen her this vulnerable. It sickens me. <laughs> <laughs> I still love her, but this sickens me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just imagining like someone trying like the whole like like the whole like 
fucking bridal carry. It's like, oh. This should be the other way around. She's the stronger one. <laughs> it's like that Orc GF, uh, like, comic. Yeah, he's trying like, to carry no. her. He's, tr- <laughs> he's just like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, for one, he was succeeding, and she's like, twice his size. <laughs> she looked impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We passed Shrek, and he immediately tried talking to me in hip and modern language. I'm sorry. What? Oh, wait, no, that's right. He did. He was trying to relate to Artie, uh, Arthur by like using like teen lingo. <laughs> Shrek, Ava called softly. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, the first intelligent thing that's ever come out of her mouth in this one. <clears throat> <sighs> he kept He kept going as we reached a clearing with a house. I ran towards it yelling, help, we've been kidnapped by a monster that's trying to relate to us. That was one of the jokes in that movie. <laughs> Did you watch Shrek? <laughs> Wait, no, you read the summary, didn't you? No, I've watched all, like, I've watched all up to the fourth one is the one with the time travel plot. Oh, goodness, Where I'm the sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched I... up to that one. Mm-hmm. You remember that movie? I remember everything. I am so glad that I don't remember anything. <laughs> it's like I said before, like the whole thing of my brain picking up information all over the place. Sometimes <laughs> it picks up things I would rather it never did, and I remember that being a joke. Help, we're being cha- I'm being cha- uh, I've been kidnapped by a monster that's trying to relate to me. <laughs> Ugh, you're right, though. I really hate that this is just herself inserting herself into new scenes. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking modern Tom and Jerry movie equivalent. Well, not any good or enjoyable at all, because I actually kind of like those. (laughs) Ah, yeah, you like Tom and Jerry and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Uh, Not that one. I like the Wizard (laughs) of Oz one. Ava started laughing weakly, her chuckles vibrating my body slightly. I don't think that's uh, uh, that's laughing weakly. (laughs) (laughs) I could feel her laughter in my bones. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the big hearty laugh of the elf GF. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just like vibrating like a jackhammer. <laughs> Just doing the stands laugh, too. Uh... Her chuckles. Oh, wait. Uh, I set her down on a log. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imagining that this would have been funnier if you just dropped her mm-hmm. and pounded on the door. Oh, I think she wants you to pound her. Suddenly, the crystals that were beside the door lit up, and a familiar head appeared in the glow. I heard Ava yelp, a dull thud, and an owl. She must have fallen off the log. (laughs) Greetings, cosmic children of the universe. Welcome to my serenity circle. Please leave any bad vibes outside of the helid vortex, the head said, then sputtered out. (laughs) Someone's opened the door and came out. Oh, I knew I should have gotten that warranty. He start, he stated irritably, punching the crystals and making it spark into his uh Ah I remember this happening. This this fan fiction is forcing me to remember Shrek the <laughs> Third. Oh no. Truly a terrible fate. Mr. Merlin? Ava and I said in disbelief. You shot a model in. You two know this guy? Shrek asked me. Uh, 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 God, fucking hell. Anyway. <laughs> uh, where the fuck? Oh. Uh, did you say that you two know this? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He used to be the magic teacher at my school before his nervous breakdown, I explained. I feel like that was originally one of Arthur's lines. Technically, I was merely a victim of level 3 fatigue, and at the request of my therapist and the school authorities, I retired to the tranquility of nature to discover my divine purpose, he retorted before adding, and you still owe me a detention, young man. Oh, wait, no. Okay, she didn't transfer one of Artie's lines onto her. Okay, I... I... (laughs) 
I told you that that that'll bite you in the ass one day. Eva shouted from her perch on the log. <laughs> no. <laughs> I turned my head and said, "Oh no, was uh you old uh you older uh Vanyali." She smiled and retorted, "Sir Ekanerlag." <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> you be silent, elf. Make me human. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually kind of liking that they're adding in the um, uh, the uh, ancient language from Aragon because that was one of the good things about that uh, about that series, I think. I hate that they're using it for flirting, like the, the level of flirting that even me and Ichitan wouldn't do. And you see the shit we do in chat. Yeah, well. <laughs> this is below us. Oh, sorry, is it my line? I'm very confused at this picture. <laughs> it's picture. Oh, it's God, Pickle Larry. Is. It's just Pickle Larry. It's fine. Uh, Larry's a cucumber, though. Yeah, he, he got It could be fun. worse. It could be the picture of Pickle Rick making out with Larry the Cucumber. <laughs> oh, no. Don't <laughs> remind <laughs> me that exists. <laughs> don't you well, dare I... put it in. I was having my little argument with Ava. Shrek and Mr. Merlin were having an argument in themselves. Don't worry, I've never seen that picture, and I don't want to look for it. Look, could you give us directions to far, far away? Shrek groaned, pinching the bridge of his nose in annoyance. I would, but since you two are in the middle of a self-destructive rage spiral, it would be karmically irresponsible, Merlin retorted. <laughs> uh, oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, your line. <sighs> yes, you have to. Look, we don't give a shit about your fucking karma crap. <laughs> Just give us directions. <laughs> really, from the log? What? <laughs> One, it's not crap, young lady, and you need to watch your mouth. Two, I might, but only after you take the journey of your soul. <laughs> Merlin retorted angrily. <clears throat> <laughs> what the actual fuck? Uh, <laughs> no. It feels so out of place in a Shrek scene. Uh, no. Shrek stated, glaring at my former teacher. Look, pal, it's either that or some primal scream therapy, Merlin retorted, then started to scream. Oh, God fucking damn it. I am having fun. Fucking whiplash. <laughs> Thankfully, Shrek shut him up and said, All right, fine, journey to your soul it is. Oh, fucking hell. Ah. Is everybody okay? <laughs> I am not okay with this. <laughs> because I am just having fucking whiplash of having to remember this fucking scene from... Fucking Shrek the Third, and then also this sh other shit getting added in. <laughs> With that settled, I went over and sat beside Ava on the log. Eva, you Ava. okay? I asked. Nobody is okay. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? She nodded and said, "Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, just a bit tired and sore." Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. I don't Just even know. Just a little that tired. Was. Oh yeah, buns and oh, thighs. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, buns and thighs. Fucking damn it! Two oily men tried to wrestle me. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I knew what he was going for. <sighs> no way, the hellhound. <clears throat> uh, where the fuck? <laughs> Who said the last line? Who said you okay? Was that you, uh, Zane, or was that you? Zane Lighter? said you okay. I said the next line. Okay, now it's my turn. I yes. smiled. I smiled. I relief and placed <laughs> a hand on her shoulder. I think it's supposed to be in relief, but whatever. <laughs> no, no. Clearly, it's I relief. <laughs> oh, my apologies then. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault. Someone doesn't know their English. <laughs> I'm just glad you're alive. I remember <laughs> thinking about what could have happened. Oh fuck! I was I was trying to find my reserve of elf women. <laughs> I mean, not uh, uh, orc women. <laughs> uh, I felt a hand on top of mine. 
Uh, well, maybe you should take it off the top of your head. I am too, the elf whispered, smiling with a faint blush on her cheeks. <laughs> it's fucking Christ. <laughs> what? I wasn't expecting that. Let's see. Uh, Savannah, I saw what I mean. I felt heat seep into my face as I gazed into her violet eyes. Her violent eyes. I mean, she does have violent eyes, if you recall. I've never yes. really noticed that she was actually really pretty. Beautiful, even. No, wait, stop. She's my best friend. I shouldn't have these feelings for her. I, I shook my head slightly and slid my hand off of her shoulder. I swore I saw her and disappointment flash across her eyes before she disguised it as a look of calm. It must have been my imagination. You fucking virgin. You're more of a virgin than me, dude. <laughs> even Zane's not this dead. For real, dude. Glancing around for anything to look at besides Ava, I saw Donkey and Puss giving us knowing looks before busy themselves with getting wood for a fire. <laughs> okay, that was a bit strange. <laughs> Fucking dolt. Hang on, hang on. Okay, there we go. You never told me you were royalty, Ava commented from beside me, sounding a bit hurt. I thought they forgot all about me. Apparently the king asked for me personally. I stayed that, with the shrug. That's great, Ava exclaimed. Wait, if... I'm just picturing like, yeah, the king's asking for you. Shoots her in the head when they meet. Well, from an authorial standpoint, it's used, it's basically just a power grab. Uh, Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. That's Probably. what it feels like anyway. It's great that you're supposed to be king, as opposed to, oh, huh, okay then. I, if I found out that someone I was dating was actually like a member of royalty, my first thought wasn't, oh shit, sweet. It'd be like, oh, okay, that's interesting. My first would be, oh, fuck, really? <laughs> gonna, does that mean if we keep dating, I have to, like, be out in public? <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the queen of whatever country this is, her husband never seems to leave the house. <laughs> we may have caught a photo of him peeking out through from the curtains, but we aren't sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on. Actually, no, continue. Like, hold on. Sorry. Gosh dang it. I don't know, I just ended up finding one of the orc pictures I was looking for. Uh. That's uh, Tom's line. I'm going to... Okay. I have to go to the bathroom, so mm -hmm. I'm going to duck out. Uh, okay, so... With the scene, where we're at, where Start with I guess. Okay. Uh, I guess, but I'm not nearly ready to be king, and I highly <laughs> doubt I'll ever be ready, I retorted bitterly. Aw, so sad. I felt a hand on my shoulder. Should we keep going, or...? Eh, you can, if you want. Okay, I think I will. I think you are, was her comment. Then she slid her hand off of my shoulder. Give me a second. I got Pixie and Brood. I think I couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed at the lack of her touch. Hearing a small grunt, grunt I glanced up to see Ava standing above me, swaying slightly. Hmm. I'm just imagining her like doing the whole thing, like the you know, like in Mortal Kombat when they're like, uh, like rolling their head back and forth, like before the fatality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'll be back," she muttered before wandering off towards the trees. You know, because she's an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Elves, am I right? So work quirky. That's why they deserve to die. Sighing, I got up and started to help to help look for firewood. Saying careful, you're starting to sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> you're influencing me. <laughs> oh no! Soon I will be anti-elf. <laughs> <sighs> you see, I, I think it's not that I'm anti-elf. I think I'm anti whatever people make elves out to be. Like a whole lot of different things. It's like they make elves like oh humans, but better. <laughs> Yeah, just egomaniacs. Yes, that's just you know, mm -hmm. an entire race of egomaniacs probably wouldn't be that successful. Let's be real. Mm -hmm, true. Maybe but on like, an individual they would, but like 
I could picture like elves in a Greece like setting in like different, mm-hmm. you know, cities, but not a big United, you know, nation if everyone's mm-hmm. so proud. Also, the author's note, it's in a different language. Who cares? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> no, there's an author note like Anawasi Hijori, comma, Vanyali. You be silent, elf, and then Oh, he, that's the Kernlog, make me, comma, human. Okay, that that was the translation from earlier when they were talking with each other with the ancient language from Aragon. Like I said, not yeah. upset that they're using that, just like it doesn't fit here. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't fit in. Also, uh, what I wanted to say we? earlier, we're on uh, the next, we chapter. To, uh, okay. next chapter. Starting uh, off with the note. Uh, author's just note, started. your line. Yeah, but hold on. Before you start, you know you were making the joke about how like I'm dating royalty, right? And like maybe every once in a while people get a picture of me for like p- poking through the window. Yeah. Picture me always having like this kind of face. <laughs> <laughs> I just so imagine bad. I just like imagine a picture of you like just staring out the window with like a bowl of cereal and a spoon, like it <laughs> like a bowl in one hand and the spoon in the other, just like Yep, I'm here. <laughs> just like I'm here for my wife, but I'm not going outside. She can take care of it. She's the queen. <laughs> I love we might have videos. seen him picking up the mail. <laughs> just you and like slippers and pajamas <laughs> but we aren't sure if it was actually him or just one of the housekeepers and they, they start getting to the point where they're trying to take a take a picture of you and you just keep proceeding deeper and deeper into the house setting traps and everything it turns out it's actually a dungeon for D&D <laughs> um, fuck Oh my gosh, every once in a while I throw them off the trail by having one of the like house servants or something, or like whatever kind of workers are there, like, you know, secret agent, like, you know, protector people, mm. take the role of the husband. <laughs> so every once in a while there's like a slightly different guy. Uh, anyways, sorry, let's continue. Who's, who's line? I mean, who's doing the we just finished, note? so you should do the author's note. Well, no, who finished the last chapter? Uh, Zane did. So it's okay, then it would be me. Mm-hmm. We're on yeah. chapter ten. Author's note: Thank you, Kitty Cat Girl. Uh, Kitty Cat Girl leaks. PCA student Chip at Star Queen of Hearts. Setsy one. Uh, oh God. Yo, mamo. Yo, no mamo. Setsuna no yamano. Uh, and platinum gal. Uh, for reviewing. I love you. I love you guys. A cookie and a slice of cake for all of you. But you didn't put the cookie emoji emoticon this time. You flanderer. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> well, this is the next chapter. This is the chapter with the fire scene, which includes a revelate. He violence. consumed the debauchery. <laughs> I hope you do it. Sorry, that's an epi- ep- that's an epithet erased quote. <laughs> oh god, is that from the late like the new episodes need- on YouTube? I, think- I need to watch okay. that. I it, it, I, I like Jello Apocalypse a lot. <laughs> I enjoy it, Tom. I it's enjoy. based off of something called the anime campaign from a tabletop game. Oh no! <laughs> Everything in there is described like it's D and D players playing the game. Yes. That's- Characters sounds... will describe the actions that they're doing instead of just it happening. There's that also some fantastic. lines. There's also some lines that I absolutely love. My favorite one being "sewing time is bonding time." That's why it's called close knit. I think my favorite <laughs> is uh, my youthful innocence. Ig- my youthful innocence has already been corrupted by bad guy proximity. <laughs> <laughs> You know these are direct quotes from that anime campaign, and I'm okay oh with that. Gosh. I hope so. <laughs> there is a um reference to something that happened in the D and D campaign that happens in one of the episodes too. Mm-hmm. And after you watch the episode, I'm gonna show you the like some like fan did like an animated version of that scene, and it's in both. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, arms line. Okay, Ava. I staggered my way to the trees, partly because I had to go to the bathroom. The other I'm just pee on top of Ava. This she is, is Ava. <laughs> oh right, we're in Ava's perspective now. Sorry, I've been ignoring those lines. <laughs> <laughs> the other was because I wanted to get away from everyone and have some time to think. I, I mean, be away from Shrek. Shrek's cool. Zane's line. 
Yes. Oh, I thought you had something to say. That's all I'm quiet. I wandered through the trees until I came across a small flowing creek. Great. Now I really need to go. After retreating to a bush to do my business, I spotted a weeping willow tree beside the creek. I made my way to it and carefully sat beneath the low branches of the tree. <sighs> Have you ever seen a character who served absolutely no purpose to a plot that they inserted themselves into? <laughs> um... Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you know what this is just my fan fiction it's literally just you and tom are like you know doing reviews by yourself and i slowly just pause all your reviews and just insert my words into them that's what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> well it's just the whole thing of like since shrek has shown up she has that bearing on the plot oh yeah shrek's the main character <laughs> yes but in this case she's the main character because it's a fan fiction centered on her well, guess what? Maybe she realizes that she sucks and Shrek's the true king of the world. And that's why Shrek is now the main character. God damn it. Gently dipping my fingers into the stream, I watch the small rapids rush by without a care in the world. It doesn't care if it runs through a battlefield or not, or if it witnesses the slaughter of an entire race. It probably doesn't care if red blood is washed into its waters. Well, for one, if blood is washed into its waters, it'll start to turn yellow. That was stupid, for one. I hate you for even making that joke. What, me? <laughs> yes. I, I, you're not serious, right? That's not a thing? No, that is the it, thing. You're making, it dilutes yellow. Is bloody water yellow? I'm sorry. This I'm not trying to be a contrarian or whatever. Just, like, I've never heard... What color is your blood hair? Yes, human blood is green in the deep ocean. Okay, so yeah, okay. Co okay, blood does dilute colors. All right, that's all. Yeah, all right, basically, it's not bad. going. It's not going to be that it's like a red cloud in the water, basically. So it looks like you peed in the water. Anyways, too, a river isn't sentient. It doesn't care. I mean, it depends on if this is the universe in which nature spirits exist. Then there might be a nature spirit that is an embodiment of that river. I wonder if you'd introduce blood to that water if it makes the thing go mad. <laughs> it's just like, why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> it just carries on, laughing and playing among the trees. I could just picture the nature spirit like floating in the water next to the blood, just like, really, dude? Really? <laughs> it's just <laughs> angrily staring at a deer that's pissing in the river. <laughs> angrily burbles. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> no one asked you to be this way. It would have cost you nothing to not do this. You could have at least peed, you know, somewhere else. I mean, yeah, it might have gone to the stream eventually, but it would have, you know, been diluted to some degree. <laughs> at least I wouldn't have had to watch you. <laughs> that too. She's in my line. Yes. Yes. I wondered. Nope, that's no. not. Okay, if only if people. Only. If only people were the same way, there wouldn't be any wars, slaughter, hate, abuse, sorrow, pain. We would all be living in a world of peace and love, and children would be running and playing, much like this stream. Our biggest worry would be being on time for dinner. Ah, what a philosophical quote that you made. No, it's not. There. I, I know I'm being... Sarcastic. If only people didn't sarcastic. care if you splattered blood on them. <laughs> Here's another thing. If there was no <laughs> such thing as war, I'm pretty sure someone would start a war just to prove them wrong. Probably. Good chance of that. I mean, have to make money somehow. Yeah, and it wouldn't even be about, like, maybe it wouldn't even be a big war. It's just been, been like, two local towns going at it for a while, you know? Somebody yeah. would have thrown something at someone just to be mean, and then they would have fought. It's kind of like the whole thing of how governments will start wars just to justify military spending. Yeah. That's been a thing for a while, actually. I remember yes. Lots of, like, I think when firearms were first invented or like isn't that how like one of the world wars was like that's part of the reason you know like that wasn't firearms firearms have been around very long yeah, no no not the firearm thing but like people were making a bunch of armies and that's why one of the world wars was like part it helped yeah, fuel world, the reason world, because we have an army world, now world war, world, world war one was basically a whole situation of a whole bunch of people getting ready to kill each other and just waiting for the first person to blink yeah they were waiting Said for blinking it. happened when someone shot archduke ferdinand yeah. Poor dude didn't even deserve it. <laughs> Ferdinand blinked. If Mostly recall, because he was dude, shot. Didn't the dude fail too? 
like one of them failed and then he like went to a sandwich shop and he saw the dude outside and then just went through with it or something i don't know don't quote me on that yeah, i, don't know I think there was shot. like i think, I think he was, was shot a, in a car i think there he was, was a the car, but like yeah. I think there was a bombing attempt that they tried to do that failed, and then he got shot in the face. Like afterwards, they're like, "Oh man, someone tried to bomb us. Let's go through with this parade and just have extra security to make sure nothing happens to Franz Ferdinand." And then <laughs> oh. one of the people who was part of that bombing threat was like moping in a sandwich shop, and he turned around and saw the dude there, and then like just yep. walked outside and shot him. Yeah, walked out, shot him in the chest. Yeah. Anyways, but of course, people aren't like the streams. <laughs> this stream. Some enjoy pain and slaughter and the hey, glory hey. that comes with it. Sadomasochism is a perfectly legitimate lifestyle. <laughs> Just as long as people are consenting, right? Yes. Heh, <laughs> glory. What a stupid, <laughs> pathetic excuse for killing another living thing. Why would you want to be known for killing and slaughtering things in your path? It's plain ass stupid. <laughs> Why did she start cursing so much? I'd rather be known for helping take care of life, not taking it away. It was one of the previous chapters and it took me out of it too, but it's like, what? Because, like, if the character had been swearing from the beginning, that'd be one thing. But it's just like, where is this coming from? I'm an angry girl. I need help now. Angry. Angry. I'm all angry. Uh, but then again, I can't really talk. I mean, I've killed a few people. <laughs> You're an... That must have been a hard no, but it was... Up, Tom. <laughs> but it was only for self-defense. Tom, if you're a good Christian boy, don't look in random. Oh, God. Uh, I'm curious now. Don't Jesus look. fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's also a Markiplier meme. <laughs> okay, now I am looking. Oh, dear. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I mean, it's more of a why. Is it, why did people make that? Because. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit of a why. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Well, I don't think that the original person who drew the art was more thinking funny, but <laughs> I'm starting to think that I should actually mark that chat is not safe for work. You really should, because that's all I post in there. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the only thing that gets posted there. Hmm. Uh, it's it's someone's line. Uh, you, did you finish your line, Lydic? Yes. I mean, I killed a few people. Did you say? But it was yes. I said that one. Okay. I feel like you didn't say the last part, but okay. The elves aren't that innocent either. I they did kill. say the self-defense thing. Okay, okay. I just, I just <laughs> must not have been listening. The elves aren't that innocent either. They killed hundreds of humans and burned down hundreds of homes, despite their love for life. It really is a shame people of any race are blinded to the similarities that we all share. We share the same earth, the same sky, the same moon, the same sun. The same water and air, and the same passion in our hearts. We share the same tears for the same reasons. We say the same pain and sorrow. We are blinded to all of that because of our greed and envy. Mm. Yeah, but like those guys have long ears and they're ugly. So you know. <laughs> it's now marked as a not safe for work channel. The humans envy the elves' natural abilities. So what do they do? They declare a war against us. The elves envied their success of humans had. So what do we do? We burn down the res their resources. All this could have been prevented if we had seen Pastor Jealousy and Envy and looked at our similarities instead of our differences. Sorry. I said my line. Yeet. I did a good job. Yes, you did, Zane. Good job. Also, I gave you a cookie, but there wasn't a cookie emoticon earlier, so I can't give it to you. This is the worst trade deal in history. <laughs> <laughs> I am such a hypocrite. <laughs> Hi, such a hypocrite. I'm dad. Shut up. <laughs> Even though I want peace and dislike killing, I plan on killing the man who took my innocence away as a child. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. What? What? When, when? Okay. This is. Oh, dear. I'm... Hmm. Did this, like, did, like, the character get swapped out with someone else, like, when we weren't looking? I think she started to turn into a typical character written by this person. Hmm. Yeah. Once Artie gets settled as king, or rather, if he gets settled as king, I'm going to find the bastard and rid the universe of him. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
Then I might go back, or I might wander around for a while, then go back. Either way, I'm going back to Artie. Perhaps we'll get together or we'll remain as friends. It'll practically kill me if we do, but I, ra I, ra but I rather keep his friendship than to throw it away for one selfish act. Well, at least you're smart enough to realize you're into it. Mm -hmm. A small touch on my shoulder broke me out of my thoughts and started and startled me to no end. I was in a constant state of shock for the rest of my life. <laughs> I jumped up and spun around, habitually drawing my sword, standing there as a very scared-looking His green eyes wide, taking a deep breath, I lowered my sword, feeling my entire body trembling from fear and adrenaline. Uh, let's see, we're... Uh... Don't Dude, do that. I could have killed you, I said in a trouble. All right, next time I'll throw a rock at you. <laughs> <laughs> Not wanting to imagine what could have happened. Death. I think you made that pretty clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should have killed me when you had Tom. a chance. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go. I'm trying to figure out where I was. Uh, he drew in a shaky breath and said, Sorry, I was starting to get worried, so I decided to try to find you in case you passed out or something. It's been like a whole day. Where have you been? I sheathed my sword and stated, no, I'm the one that should be apologizing. I shouldn't have reacted like that. Threatening to stab someone for saying hi typically isn't the best way to go about things. I think it is. What? Uh, what? Okay. Uh, I, softly, I smiled softly and returned it. He walked back to the clearing where there was a roaring fire near the log. Shrek was cooking some poor animal on a spit over the flames. <laughs> you don't want to see what he, can what he uses to make balloons, then. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm going hungry tonight, I muttered, taking a seat as far away from the ogre as I could. You're surrounded by leaves. <laughs> Just eat grass! <laughs> That's not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> My point is, if you're... If, if you're an elf worth your salt, <laughs> you could probably find something to eat. Artie seated himself beside me and gazed at the animals hungrily. I only shook my head and pulled out a few blank sheets of parchment from my quiver, and I started to eat them. That's where I thought it was going. <laughs> Along with, with various sizes of brushes and quill and some black ink, using my diary as a surface, I placed a sheet over it and popped the ink open, carefully dipping a small brush in it and painting the clearing. That took up the better part of an hour before I had set it aside to let it dry. As I glanced up, I saw that the sun was almost touching the horizon. Holy shit. Something that someone might call art in, over, in only an hour? What are you, me? Hmm. And I said someone might call art because I... Mm, not sure how people will classify my drawings. I wouldn't classify it as art. Anything that... Anything that you make with your own hands and is recognizable is art. So, so yeah, porn is art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're making it sound like I just straight out draw porn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll commission you if you do, man. <laughs> what? Uh, she doesn't eat meat. Already explained as I let. I didn't say my line. Oh, oh wait, wait. Who said the quiver thing? Who said the painting thing? Me. Okay, then it's my line. Here, Shrek stated that before shoving a cooked field rat into my hands. <laughs> it's a field rat. My stomach churned at the sickening smell as I passed it off to Artie. She doesn't eat meat, Artie explained as I held my stomach, willing myself not to puke again. Ugh, you don't even like, you can't even smell meat? Ouch. <laughs> You must suck when your hair are getting down and dirty and you smell the meat, you know, slapping Jeez, against you. Christ. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Zane. That's why I'm a piscatarian. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> It was a bit after the others had eaten that my stomach finally settled down. After a little bit, Merlin came out with a small bag in one of his hands. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay. Da, 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 da. Um, now. now, all of you look into the fire of truth and tell me what you see, he said dramatically, then threw some of the powder into the fire, making it flare up. Ooh, charades. Okay, I see a Dutch fudge torte. Tor torte? Torte. 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 <laughs> torte. With cinnamon swells. Ah, ah, ah. 
Donkey stated, sitting down and looking into the fire eagerly. <laughs> okay, monster, now your turn. Merlin stated to Shrek. The ogre so glared. Said. The ogre or, glared. Go ahead. I was going to say, or take out the two and put in a dress. Stated two sounds terrible. Yeah, a little bit. The ogre glared know. at the wizard for a split second before bending down and gazing into the fire. He looked distressed for a moment, then blew at the smoke. I see a rainbow pony. He stated nervously. Oh. Later in the movie, if memory serves, it was babies. Which is what he's trying to avoid. Yes. Wonderful footwork. Now the boy, Melon stated enthusiastically, turning to Artie. Ernie, <clears throat> Ernie. This is lame, he muttered, earning a smack to the back of his head. I snorted Boy. in amusement, earning myself a glare from my best friend. He sighed and gazed into the flames. I see Gamer Girl bathwater. And <laughs> I'm drinking that bathwater. No, don't do that. Some people went to the hospital. I see guns. I think you have bigger problems, Tom. <laughs> So what's the point of this again? Like, what are they looking in there for? Their destiny? It, it, it's a whole, like, it's, it's fire the truth, so it's a whole thing of, like, looking into themselves or whatever. I see myself staring at myself confusedly. I'm on the <laughs> toilet looking at myself and going, why are you looking at me right now, me? I, I say see sorry and look away from the fire. <laughs> I see an orc woman. I mean, an orc woman. Jesus Christ, those biceps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Ooh. <laughs> I start to sweat profusely. Everyone looks at me confusedly. S -s -s Sorry, the, the fire's just hot. <laughs> okay, there's a baby bird and a father bird sitting in a nest, he stated. I listened with rapt attention and tried to block out Merlin's annoying drumming. Yep, because he was drumming on a... He was, like, banging on a drum during this. Bongos. Wait, the dad just flew away. Why did he leave the little bird all alone? It's trying to fly, but it doesn't know how. It's going to fall. The dr he <laughs> drumming stopped abruptly. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be the drumming. Yeah. Uh, he drumming stopped abruptly. <laughs> I put my arm around Artie and squeezed slightly, crushing his ribs, <laughs> <laughs> squeezing the life out of his body. <laughs> Then let my arm fall to my side again. Phew, proper head case you are. Now the elf, Merlin commented, turning to me. I sighed and stated, let's just get this over with. Apparently puss doesn't matter. Oh. I see several other cats with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't repeat what's going on in this. <laughs> the old man threw another handful of that powder in. Flames. As I gazed into the flames, I saw a scene forming. Say no. Good luck, Tom. Wait, oh no, oh, I get the long yours. one. Oh, you boy. get the long sorry. one, Tom. <laughs> I can't be okay, I'm sorry, I don't know where my brain is today. <clears throat> you still have, you to, have DM. to DM tonight. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the gods must be crazy. They are. <laughs> the gods are tired, boy. Two wolves formed, one black with a silver tiara on its head, the other white with a black <laughs> crown. The black one laid down on its side and gave birth to a violet wolf. Ah. Oh no, it's dark, it's prophecy. <laughs> oh no, oh no! <laughs> the, two, the two wolves nuzzled their pup affectionately. Then the white one looked up and barked a warning. A group of wildcats attacked and killed the two adult wolves after the black one hid the pup. The pup was found by two foxes, one golden colored and one with white butterfly like wings. I, uh, this sounds like one of my fever dreams. <laughs> I dislike this immensely. <laughs> they led the wolf to shelter where they stayed a while. The golden fox grew a bit along with the pup. The butterfly winged fox left the shelter and then the golden fox took advantage of the wolf and did unspeakable things to. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. The winged fox returned and chased the pup out of the den, snapping at her hind legs. The pup wandered alone until she accidentally bumped into an old bear. The pup cowered, expecting to be killed on the spot, but the bear led her to a huge place where rabbits and birds lived. She stayed there, and the old bear taught her how to use her claws and teeth in battle. The wolf pup couldn't get close to any of the birds or rabbits. They feared she would kill them. 
Once the pup went out of the shelter and ran into two snakes. The snakes attacked the pup, but she quickly killed them using the moves the bear Why taught her. Why is this such an in-depth vision? I don't know. It's <laughs> my vision. I'm the main character. After that, she ran back into the shelter and never left it. Guys, we're getting backstory. This is awesome. I'm kidding. Ah. This is terrible. Uh, the pup grew under the bear's care until he died. The wolf howled in sorrow as she watched him die, tears staining her violet coat. The adult rabbits and birds then had her loaded, into, uh, loaded to a carriage, then watched her leave. She arrived at another building where cats lived. The only bird there, one with golden feathers and startling green eyes, went out of their way to greet her. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is just a recap of everything that's happened to her. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, it's the fact that it's also specifically the bird. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, oh, God, I was I was going to try and look up, like, the visuals from the whole vision scene. Mm-hmm. Because I want you to understand how this shit looked in the movie. And then all of a sudden, that shit. But I can't find it. Huh? Sorry, I zoned out with with her backstory. I really couldn't. No, you didn't miss. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of stopped caring at the. Uh, I heard uh, something about a bear. Part. Is it my line? Yes. Mm -hmm. A small touch on my hand startled me out of my trance. Jesus Christ, that's two for two. Looking around, <sighs> I saw that everyone was were staring at me with word expressions on their faces. Anyway, I'm not finding it. Probably because no one cared enough to score. Is it in this chat? No. About like I said, no one cared enough to screen ca screen cap it. Ah. What did you see? Merlin asked. In Merlin asked in oh, fucking hell. Excitedly. I locked my jaw and shook my head. No, well, in that case, I'm going to bed, Merlin announced, heading into his house and shutting the door after him. Oh. <sighs> the others all turned back to me. What? I asked defensively. Ava, I know you're upset about something. Can you at least <laughs> tell me what's wrong? Sorry, I don't know where that southern came from. Already asked, his green eyes gazing at me in worry. I have a pretty sexy tractor if you go on a ride. Yep, on my tractor. I found out there's a Nightcore version of that, and that is so fucking cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Weeb rednecks are a thing that just unsettles me deeply. That ain't right, I'll tell you what. No. I want to take a ride on my Ahiago tractor. Because there's also one of Honky Tonk Badonka Donk, and it's like, why? Why would you? Why would you nightcore that? <laughs> because why not? I forgot that song was a thing. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Probably for the best. <sighs> oh God! Well, uh, fucking hell! What line? It's uh, Zane's line. <gasps> Is it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ava, what's my line? Ava, I know you're upset. Ava, I know. He said that line. I said did that he? line. Tom. He did. Is Boy, it, what the did, fuck, Tom? Tom, did, did, did Lyda create his line then, or did no? Okay, so right, it's your it's line. I looked around at the others, and they nodded encouragingly. Finally, I sighed and stated, "Fine, but once I start, I'm not going to stop." After that, I took a deep breath and told them what I saw and what I think my visions meant. Well, basically, I told them my entire past, except the names of the people. After I. Uttered my last sentence, there was a shock silence. I braced myself for questions, but they never came. Instead, I felt arms wrapped around my figure and squeeze. Shrek was holding on to me, oh, the life out of me. Oh, I thought it was Shrek. There's no elves on me swamp. Oh, God. Secondly, I returned the gesture, knowing who it was. I felt my heart beat faster at the gesture. It was Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daddy Shrek. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> I don't know how you could deal with a past like yours. All I can really say is I'm sorry. Already whispered into my ear, sending shivers that reminds down me my of the guy that, spine. <laughs> that reminds me of the guy who went to a therapist and told him all his problems, and the therapist said, wow, I'm surprised you're not dead. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something just... I'm just gonna say it right now. There's something really 
goddamn like aggravating of like following that heavy shit up like cutesy romantic shit that's rough bud <laughs> i just uh, i'm sorry i shouldn't laugh that's just terrible that's fucking terrible man mm-hmm. yeah that is that is a terrible thing <sighs> yeah. but yeah like i will say from a story okay just a little heads up to anyone out there if you're gonna do a whole story thing and you want it to where you have a character with a tragic backstory that involves this sort of shit don't immediately follow up the reveal with some cutesy romance, like some cutesy couple shit. Yeah. That, mm. As, aside from the fact that that sends a bad message, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's just tonal whiplash. Mm-hmm. It's the whole thing of like after that happened, like at most should probably be like a platonic gesture, not. Like, I'm going to whisper in your ear and hug you from behind. Yeah, that's just... That is the wrong thing to do. Uh... Well, like, a lot of people that are in that kind of situation tend to be... that have been in that kind of situation tend to be not too keen on hugs. Yeah. <laughs> When we now, finally... of course, I don't know what the writer's been through. Maybe she has dealt with that sort of shit. But... Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. When we finally pulled away from each other, there were no knowing looks from donkey or puts, only identical looks of sympathy. Shrek doused the fire and sat on the log beside a ways down from us. Artie and him shared a small smile. Okay, what the hell did I miss? Just a few hours ago, they were at each other's throats. Gave Artie a questioning look, but he just grinned and whispered, I'll tell you later. I had sex with Shrek. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Shrek's going to be my queen. Well, you know, <laughs> he's going to be the king, but you know. I don't know. As it turns out, it's a uh, polyamorous uh, kingship. So how many it's, kings it's queens Shrek, are Ar- It's Shrek, Arthur, and Fiona. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> The king, the queen, and the and the queen's mistress. <laughs> Alright, well, you're lying. Is it my line? Yes, it is. I nodded and settled on the ground to sleep. Atra Larua, Artie, I was <laughs> beside me. I had a stroke there, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Atra Larua, Ava, he whispered back, following, followed by silence. I closed my eyes and let a tear slip down my cheek before sleep claimed me. Author's note. Okay, what Ava saw in the fire was her entire past, just substituting the people with... Yeah, no shit, okay. You don't fucking say! You don't need to explain that! How little faith do you have? How little faith do you, how, how little faith do you have in your audience? Well, these people are watching Shrek. And are interested in Shrek fiction. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to hold their fucking hand. <laughs> I have a little challenge for you. If the elf race was still alive, what do you think Ava standing would be among them based on the hints in the fire scene? Please PM me with your guess, just in case you guess right. That doesn't mean Probably not Probably loyalty, considering the fact that two of the wolves had crowns. Isn't <laughs> she said she was like royalty at some point in time, or like, I don't remember. I don't fucking know, but... Yeah, the she symbolism doesn't... was so fucking on the nose that that doesn't Man. mean that doesn't mean not review because you know I love them. Oh, and what do you think would be a good theme song for Ava or Artie and Ava would be? Uh, thank you for reading and please, please review my. I don't know what that emoji is called. Like yeah, happy face thing. I. I don't own Shrek 3 or its characters. I only own Ava, Mr. Johnson, my Gagera, and any other OC that's in here. Roger, Roger, it's good night. Meerkat Girl 13. All right, so we oh, hit God, just that's... an hour. Yeah, yeah. We're, so we're, you want to pause it here for the Christmas? Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, spoilers. Uh, yes, the Christmas okay. episode. Yes, but that's going up before this is, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we time traveled. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome. <laughs> a special thank you to Destiny Baird. If you would like to get a shout out, either audibly or visually, 
feel free to donate to our Patreon, link in the description.